Anyways, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded my last time. I think it's been like a month. Anyways, I'm not done with the break from YouTube. <laughs> I'm probably not going to upload that much. But I might as well just explain myself why I haven't been uploading in a long time. As you can see, a lot's changed. I remodeled my room. I painted it differently. I've gone home school, so I have way more time in the day versus... So I get to actually record like during the daytime, so you get this good lighting. Pretty, pretty, uh, good. Yeah, I remodeled my entire room, moved some stuff around. My setup, you can't really see it because you're behind the camera. Got a new table. Nothing really important. Anyways, let me talk about why I was gone. So, as you know, I joined the real world. I talked about that in one of my videos. And I've really been enjoying the real world. And it just been, it's taught me that I don't really know as much as I think I do. Like, I'm teaching you guys how to be better people. When me, myself, I still have plenty of room to improve. I've just been off learning, trying to improve myself. And it's, I think it's been helping a ton. I've learned a lot of stuff. And what's gone me... It's helped me improve myself a lot. So I've just been busy learning, being more of a student than a teacher. But I, I still think I might start uploading again, just because, just for the heck of it, I explain it well. The reason I've been going, I've been gone also is because I started kind of, I started trying to get, make some real money. I did some landscaping like as a side hustle just to make some cash real quick so I could spend on like daily life expenses. Buy a, get a new keyboard for my setup, maybe buy a car sometime in the future if I, if I need that. For now, I'll just use my parents' cars. Those are fine for now. <laughs> but yeah, I did landscaping. It's been pretty good adventure. It's taught me a lot of important skills, like selling people and stuff, talking to clients, social skills. It's helped me a lot doing my landscaping scaling business business stuff bullshit like that and i actually i make pretty good money compared to like someone actually working flipping burgers i make a little more i make like 25 an hour i think minimum wage 15 dollars an hour it's all right but landscaping is a pretty hard job it's very labor intensive you're, you're on the sun all day you're sweating you're getting dirt flung in your face from weed whacking pushing a mower really physically demanding job for me at least but what i, I love what i like about the landscaping job is i'll just put my earbuds in the whole time put maybe put like earmuffs over them i'll just be like mowing and i'll just be listening to an andrew tate screaming in my ear for like three hours straight listen to one of his podcasts pretty fun <laughs> and then also along with landscaping i've been a uh, very active participant in the copywriting campus inside the real world i've been trying to learn copywriting i think it's a very valuable skill at first i was like i kind of fluttered around i had shiny object syndrome going around from one campus to another but you know first i started off in the content creation campus and there wasn't really the pope he's a pretty good professor but i don't know copywriting was more my thing i related more to the copywriting professor he taught you a lot more stuff versus outside of uh, just copywriting. He taught you mindset. He teaches you other stuff, time management. And then the other professor that I really like is Dylan Madden. He teaches you a lot of important skills. Like his biggest thing, what, hydration or something. He's been he's hung around the Tates. He knows what's up. He's Andrew and Dylan Madden, very good professors. And I've been just really active, trying to learn copywriting, trying to get my first client. I've been doing a lot of warm outreach, which is kind of awkward to do. What warm outreach is basically is the opposite of cold outreach. What cold outreach is, you just, like a cold call. You call somebody you don't even, they don't know you beforehand, and you just call them, and you try to sell them on some bullshit. I need to stop cursing. But anyways, warm outreach, you basically contact somebody you already know, and the advantage to that is they have a little bit more trust of you. So you're more likely to get your first client through warm outreach versus like cold DMing, cold emailing. 
and they just think you're some kid in the basement trying to scam them or something. You don't know shit. So you need to first warm outreach, get some testimonials. Then we can uh, implement that and do some cold outreach and get some clients. But I've really been stepping away from the whole YouTube personal brand stuff. The reason behind that, I haven't been uploading. I, I had time. I could upload. Honestly, it doesn't take that long to upload a video. Considering I barely even edit. I might <laughs> But my personal brand basically my personal brand turned into me my personality turned into me making personal brand videos and didn't really have anything outside of YouTube to talk about and I basically came kept circling on the same shit basically. I made bullshit videos back in the day that I wasn't really proud of. Just cycling on the same self improvement shit like Straightforward way to communication skills, how to live the best life possible. Just these clickbait videos that I wasn't really feeling accomplished about making. Anyways, I wanted something outside of something, some way of my plan, personality outside of making videos. So I went on to try to learn copywriting, and that's basically where we're at now. I've stuffed away, I just made a quick video just to explain because I realized. I haven't been uploading. Hope that explains it.